Okay, in this problem we're asked to parameterize three different paths uh, inside the level set where f is equal to f of p such that r of 0 is equal to p, r prime of 0 does not equal 0, and we also want to describe the tangent space and the tangent set at p on the level set where f is equal to f of p. So we're given our function f of x, y, z is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z. So first let's find out what our level set is. So that's f of p. So f of 1, 2, 3. I forgot to mention p is the point 1, 2, 3. So f of 1, 2, 3 is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 3 which is 8. So we're looking at the level set eight equals x squared plus y squared plus z. Now we, when we parameterize our paths, we want our path to lie all within this level set. So we'll pick points x, y such that x is one and y is two, and then we'll solve for z using this equation so that we're sure that it's inside the level set, so we get z is equal to 8 minus x squared minus y squared. So for our parameterization, for our first one, call it r1 of t. So we want x to be 1 when t is 0, based off of this condition. So we'll make sure that we have a constant of 1. And then, well, we can pick just some parameter, we'll add a t onto that. And then for two, for y, we can just let that be 2 since we want our y component to be 2. And for z, we'll plug in to this equation, so we get 8 minus x squared minus y squared. So when we plug this in, we get 3 minus 2t minus t squared. So our first parameterization is given as follows. And we'll just double check that it satisfies our condition that the derivative at 0 does not equal 0. First derivative, or the derivative of the first component is 1. And so we already know that it doesn't equal 0, but we'll just quickly do it. We get negative 2 and then negative 2t times 0, or where t is 0 is just 0. So we get r prime, r1 prime of 0 is 1, 0, negative 2. So we know that our second condition is satisfied we have a parameterization. We'll go ahead and do a second one. And I just Pretty much did the same thing as our first one, except I let one, our x component be the constant and our y component be 2 plus t. So we see that when we plug in t equals 0, we get the point 1, 2, 3. And r2 prime is going to be 0, 1, negative 4. So again, we see that the derivative at 0 is not equal to 0. So that's our second parameterization. We'll go ahead and do a third.
So I'll let our x component be 1 plus 2t, which is just a little variation on our first one. And so when we plug in, we get 8 minus 1 plus 2t squared minus 4. So that simplifies down to 1 plus 2t, 2, 3, 3 minus 4t minus 4t squared. So we get 1 plus 2t, 2, 3 minus 4t minus 4t squared. And we'll take the derivative again. So verify quick, when we plug in t, we get the point 1, 2, 3. So our first condition is satisfied. Our 3 prime is going to be 2, 0, negative 4. And we see that the derivative is not equal to 0. So we found three uh, parameterizations such that um, they're all within the level set since our z component was verified or uh, created based off of our level set. And then we also showed that r of 0 is equal to p and r prime of 0 doesn't equal 0. Okay, so now we want to describe the tangent space and the tangent set. So first we'll let we'll let a parameterization that gives us all of our parameterizations by letting um, some constant a be multiplied by t for our um, x components. We have a, 1 plus at. And similarly for our y component, we'll let it be 2 plus bt. So we see that this gives all of the lines that go through the point 1, 2. And then we plug those into our um, level set where f is equal to 8, and we see that our z component is 8 minus the quantity 1 plus a t squared minus the quantity 2 plus b t squared. Okay, so we want to quick verify that when we plug in t equals 0, we get our point p. So we get 1, 2, this is 8 minus 1 minus 4, which is 3. So we get 1, 2, 3. So as it should, our point is, in, is at t equals 0. So, And we'll take the derivative. Maybe I'll simplify this so it's 3 minus. Okay, so we have our r of t is given as follows. Again, we can even simplify it a little bit more. So we get 3 minus t times 2a minus 4 plus 4b minus So we have our z component is that. And finally, we get something that's a little bit more simplified. We get r of t is the first component is 1 plus at, second component 2 plus bt, third component 3 minus t times the quantity 2a plus 4b minus t squared times the quantity a squared plus b squared. 
Okay, so let's take the derivative. And so we get the, fo the following for our derivative, and we'll let t equal zero, so we get r prime zero gives a b negative two a minus four b. Okay, so this describes our tangent space. So for vectors b or v. For any a and b combination, we're given a vector that uh, is tangent. So we get, so for all a and b, this describes our tangent, our tangent space. And now we want to describe the tangent set. So if we let, if we consider that this space is actually a set of points, we can let v1 v2, v3 be equal to a comma b comma negative 2a minus 4b. And we see that v3, or so we see v1 V1 is A, V2 is B, and V3 is negative 2A minus 4B. But we know what A in and B are, so we can plug in for A and B. So we get this plane, V3 equals negative 2V1 minus 4V2. Or This plane 2 times v1 plus 4 times v2 plus v3. And now we want these points to be actually shifted. So we have um, x, y, z is our, our point, And we want it to be v1 v2, v3 plus our point P because otherwise we're not based at our point P. So we can solve for our v1, v2, v3. And we get that v1, v2, v3 are the points at x minus 1 y minus 2, z minus 3. So we can plug in for our v1, v2, v3 in our plane, and we get a, our plane as a tangent set. So we get 2 times the quantity x minus 1, plus 4 times the quantity y minus 2, plus z minus 3 is equal to 0. So that describes our tangent set um, to the level set where f of p, or where f is equal to f of p at p equals 1, 2, 3.